Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. Today's video is sponsored by StockX. So before we give you the full breakdown on the Nike Joyride, you can find a pair on StockX for way under retail. They retail at 180 bucks and you can easily find them for 40 or $50 less than that on StockX. And we've said this before, but one of the dopest things about StockX, in my humble opinion, is the fact that you can find so many sneakers under retail. You can even filter your search specifically to only show Show you under retail sneakers and you'd be surprised what pops up yeezys jordans lebrons there's a ton of sneakers for super low prices and they're much better deals quite frankly than you'd find if you walked into your local mall or local sneaker store so we will put a link in the description of this video you can go check out StockX if you have not already you can grab a pair of these joy rides if you're into them or you can look for another pair under retail whatever floats your boat and with that said Let's get into this life test. This is an official update on the Nike Joyride after three months of wearing. The pros and the cons, the good and the bad. So for starters, these do fit true to size, but it's a snug fit by design. I hope you know what I mean when I say that. Like, I wouldn't size up, but just know that it's a very snug fit. I guess I'll expand on it because actually that's one of the aspects I don't like. This isn't really a casual sneaker. It's made to really hug your foot. You can see the sock style or sleeve type structure, Hirachi vibes, and for performance, I think that that's a very good thing. But if you're wearing them casually for five or six hours, you really start to feel like man I got to get these off my feet not because they aren't comfortable cushioning wise but because it's basically squeezing your foot the entire time because the sneaker is just structured that way so that's half of the comfort or the uncomfort in this case the more or the longer you wear them the more that becomes a factor or the more you notice that Now, the cushioning is a completely different story. Obviously, when these Joyride beads hit the market, people were excited, myself included, and it really does make for a comfortable ride. When you walk around, it almost feels like you're getting a mini massage on your feet. And what I like most is they feel very different, in a good way, but also different. And that's something Nike's done a great job with. There are so many different Nike options with completely different feels. The Vapor Max, for example, the React Element 87, the Vomero 5, the Air Max 270, these joy rides. <laughs> all very comfortable cushioning setups, but they all feel so much different on your feet. So it's kind of a 50-50 for me. The upper part of the sneaker and the overall structure is not the most comfortable casually, but the cushioning is very, very comfortable. So 50-50, tomato, tomato, I guess it depends how you wanna look at it, but pros and cons in the comfort department. Another area we always need to touch on in these update videos is durability. I mean, let's face it, that is as important as anything, and that's probably the hardest thing to to predict. Of course, it's easy to buy a sneaker, turn on a camera, and talk about it. I mean, we do it all the time, but when you actually wear them, put them through life, for lack of a better word, really, really get some miles into them, that's when you really see what's what and how well they hold up specifically. And surprisingly, these have held up very well. Dirty, yes, 
This colorway plus the material on the sneaker is not a good recipe as far as keeping them clean goes, but the sneaker itself has held up. I mean, we've kicked the crap out of them too. Buckets, who is behind the camera, he's worn them a bunch, I've worn them a bunch, and they're still trucking along. I will say this, and this was super weird and kind of random, but a piece of mulch of all things it actually punctured the shoe it went right through the outsole it was weird it didn't actually affect anything because it was the front of the shoe however had it been in the back where all the cushioning beads are maybe it would have been a bigger deal obviously if you're wearing an air max sneaker something with an air unit and you pop the bubble they're pretty much done for at that point so the way it worked out with these it wasn't even an issue but nonetheless something to note there's not much break-in time required and the shoe doesn't really change much as you wear them, which I guess could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. I was hoping they'd loosen up, you know, as far as the way they grip your foot, the way an Ultra Boost does, kind of, but they really don't do that, you know, so that is a negative or is a negative for me. But on the positive side, they haven't bottomed out at all meaning the cushioning hasn't flattened out and lost its comfort, which happens with a lot of sneakers. I mean, you'd be surprised a month into wearing a sneaker and it's lost a lot of comfort. That happens a lot. Another thing, and this is purely a style thing, is because it's such a sleek sneaker, because it really has a running performance type of look to it, I don't like the way they look with jeans. That's just me personally. For me, it's more of a gym shoe, something to throw on with some shorts or sweats when you're running errands, not something to add actually get jiggy with and that part is purely personal preference and style that's just my thoughts on it so you can see that there's good and bad pros and cons overall i do like them i don't love them i would say six out of ten buckets what would you give them it's the same so it, it's right in kind of that average type of range it's a good sneaker it just kind of depends what you want them for or what you're looking to get out of them but let us know how you feel how do you feel about the nike joyride like them love them hate them do you have a pair if so do you agree or disagree with the things that i've said about them do you want a pair how do you feel about nike sneakers in general when it comes to comfort is there another brand that you prefer however you feel leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated and if you've watched Watched until this point of the video like I said we really appreciate you but also this think uncivilized crew neck sweatshirt that I am wearing right now will be available to purchase tomorrow Friday November 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern time on mrfomersimpson.com very limited quantities but we love the way they turned out the quality is top-notch and we think that you're really gonna dig them so if you're interested in buying a crew neck sweatshirt make sure you are on the website ready to go at 12 p.m. Eastern time I got nothing else. See you tomorrow. Adios.